Good night, good evening, good evening and welcome to Cliffy Land's Global Cooking Challenge. Uh, tonight, cooking the food of Sudan for night two. Uh, tonight, we will be cooking a Korda Mafurka, a Salatet Kabaz Zabadi, and uh, a, for the second time, we'll be making Gorasa, which is a flatbread. And uh, so, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Justin. Thank you for liking the restream. Hey there, Joe. How you doing? Uh, Darren show how how you doing good seeing you I am looking for my lens right now uh, and I'm having trouble finding which is going to be a problem aha uh -huh, here okay who there we are uh, what's up yes uh, literally just got back from my run uh, so I am very sweaty, as you can see. Uh, so, trying to one-handedly get my lenses ready. Oh boy, I'm a mess. I'm a mess here today. Hello, lol, I'm prepared, yeah. Well, I am prepared, just uh, not prepared enough. There we are. Whew. I just, I literally, I mean, I ran. I ran, I ran in, I got myself together to get my there we are. Okay. How's everybody doing? Oh, very sweaty. Very, very sweaty. So, it's been exciting. So, we've got everything ready to go. Oh, whoo, Sudan. Yes. How many miles? I did 10 miles, which normally is just what my, uh, my average run is. Except today, this insane weather had it like feeling like 87 with bright sun and no clouds. So that made it quite brutal, which is why I'm like this right now. Uh, but then again, you're down here, so you know. Okay. Ah, dang it. Okay, this time we did full. Okay, I'm trying to get you all situated here. Uh, mm, sorry about that. Let people get a chance to show up. This is a little cockeyed. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah, I do. I do eleven on Sundays now. Uh. Okay. Phew. Thank you for the restream. What tripod do you use? It's this weird snake-like thing. I do, don't see a name on it. So, and it's been months since I bought it, so I don't remember. But it's um, it's like a snake with a little claw action on the end. So we gotta get moving, get moving, because I have got a uh, time deadline on one of these, which is the uh, first item of business, which is the uh, Zabadi Bill Ajour, which is a cucumber yogurt salad. Uh, so we need to get our cucumber out and ready. So, we've already sharpened our knives. Wallet it crashed. Oh no, don't crash. Uh, so get out our cucumber. Oh, refreshing. Refre I'm gonna sit here in the fridge. I'll just stay here. You guys, you guys carry on. Here's my cucumber. Okay. So I've got a regular cucumber. Uh, which means I was in the middle of the convo law. So, time to quickly peel our cucumber. Hey, Rain Sand, by the way, how you doing? Uh, landing point, thank you for the restream. I asked Santa Claus for a new one of these. That should be the, the a nice stocking stuffer. Because this one is acceptable, just not the best. So, oh. Maybe I should put like a little wish list, Amazon wish list for everyone. 
I wouldn't do that. So, uh, this is our cucumber yogurt salad, number one. Uh, it is uh, just what it sounds like. It's cucumbers and yogurt, not a whole lot else. The thing is, it has to be in the fridge for two hours, which is why I am quickly rushing to peel my cucumber so I can dice my cucumber, so I can put it in the fridge for two hours. Uh, so, uh, that's why I started now. I'm going to buy, I was going to buy a peeler yesterday. I think it's awesome you're doing these streams, Cliff. Thank you, Justin. I mean, I very much appreciate it. Uh, uh, it, uh, you all motivate me. So, that is a good thing. So I'm gonna take my cucumber, I'm gonna peel it, I'm going to seed it. I'm going to cube it. Uh, Sudan. Uh, whoa, that's a different cucumber yogurt. You, whoa, that, wha, what's, whoa, that's different, cucumber yogurt. Yes, cucumber and yogurt. Uh, it's really just basically that. Uh, not much else. Um, so, is, uh, if it was an English, if this is an English cucumber, I would need to seed it. Um, normally the uh, recipe serves four, and it would call for two cucumbers. Uh, so I kind of have the recipe. I'm doing it for one. This particular recipe is very common throughout uh, Muslim nations, uh, in throughout the Levant, as it were, and in the Balkans. Uh, there isn't a whole lot to it. It's simple. It's fast. Uh, it just takes time to uh, cool it down in the fridge and let the flavors kind of settle in. So we are going to cube it, cube it. I'm not really the best at that, but you know, giving it, giving it the old college try here. Oh my God, I mean, talk about not getting a chance to catch your breath. It's been a day, the power was out here for a while too, which threw off my going to the market and everything because I didn't know, am I gonna go to the market, buy stuff and put it in the fridge and the fridge will be out? Am I gonna have power for this? So uh, it came back, but uh, it threw off my schedule. So, and it takes me two hours to run the 10 miles, so. And when it's really hot, I need to stop and like, get some shade and get some sun before I die. That's how I felt, oh yeah, yeah. Peeler goes over here. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Hey Clifton, how you doing? Thank you for the restream. Uh, Whew. Okay, so we got our cucumbers right here. We're gonna stick those in our bowl. Toot sweet. This could be like the fed. This is like a, a, a Top Chef quick fire recipe if it wasn't for the two hours in the fridge. Uh, do you do? Ah. Okay, so, uh, do you wear your Apple Watch running? Yes, that's kind of one of the reasons how, why I use it, because it tells me how fast I'm going and my heart rate and all that good stuff. Uh, how are you, Austin? Thank you so much. Uh, I, uh, thank you so much. I am here making, making salad, making a Sudanese salad, uh, and I'm now looking for yogurt. Uh, got me some plain yogurt, uh, the husband went and got some fat-free yogurt, which uh, is good. Uh, um, when I shop for myself uh, and I'm using making yogurt for stuff, I get Greek yogurt, just plain, not fat-free. Uh, he didn't know that, which is okay, you know, I sent him out, so, you know. Uh, six ounces, we're looking for a cup and a half. Uh, Eight ounces in a cup, so cool, look great, thank you. Considering, considering my state, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use both of these uh, yogurts in there. So, uh, did I take a picture? I don't know if I did. So, so cucumber and plain yogurt. Uh, like I said, normally it would be fat, uh, would not be fat-free yogurt. It would be um, yeah, Greek yogurt, but it doesn't matter. 
just yogurt's the deal. So, number one in, and number two coming right up. Yogurt, simple as that. And now we're gonna get some garlic going. Now, uh, this recipe you'll find all over creation. Uh, it just happens to be particularly typical of Sudan. What to do with the uh, next step, the garlic, is um, is uh, depending on uh, a matter of preference. Uh, I, I don't know, I'm trying to get this angled right, but it's harder than it looks. Uh, okay, is the garlic. Uh, we're going to be using two cloves of garlic here. Uh, it might be a preference to, oh, what a mess I made, uh, to um, crush it uh, or to mince it. Uh, I am going to mince it uh, because uh, that's what I feel like doing. If I can get this back together. Okay. Uh, we're going to be using a lot more garlic a little bit later, but for now, just these. So. We peel. How's everybody doing? Uh, are we surviving December? Are your holidays underway? Are they in full swing? Are you preparing? Are you totally unprepared? I'm kind of prepared and kind of not. December always like drives me batty. Cause I had my birthday it was like last week, and uh, which always confuses things. Cause I separate December out into like, oh my birthday, oh now my birthday's over, now I need to like deal with everything else. Ah, uh, okay. So once we've gotten the ends off our garlic here, we are going to dice it, and then we're going to mince it. And we listen to traditional music of Sudan, if you couldn't tell. Sudan, uh, if you uh, didn't catch night one, on Saturday we had a, an unusual night uh, to be cooking. We cooked on Saturday because of all the various uh, things that had going around here. So uh, we cooked night one on Saturday. On night sa uh, Saturday we did a cinnamon beef uh, on top of the gorasa, which I'm going to be making the gorasa again yeah, at the end of this because uh, our main dish here is, uh, sits on top of the gorasa, which is a flatbread. Um, and we're going to cook that in the last half hour while our main dish simmers. Uh, 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 but that was really shockingly tasty. I did not expect a whole lot out of the Sudanese dish because the uh, recipe said it was, you know, to be runny and... Uh, that doesn't sound like a good word, but it was very appetizing and very, very tasty. So, who knows? Who knows? Hello, Jace, how you doing? Okay. Get in there. Okay, that's our garlic going into the salad. Let's get all of it up here. All of it. We need you all. Nothing stays behind. Okay. And we're going to season that with salt and pepper. Salt. Pepper. Over here. Uh, in great. Thanks for... I'm great. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. Yes, yes. The, the world, the world of typos. Now, this is the way it said to do it. There are certain things that I see in done vis-a-vis -vis salt and cucumbers. Uh, the salt, in that case, if you look back at Japan, if you, oh, by the way, everything is at cluttyland.com. You'll find uh, the blog, links to the recipes, pictures of everything, uh, how everything went, links to these videos right here, information about the countries, um, and uh, how it all tasted. 
Uh, however, if you go back and see uh, our blog post on Japan, which predated Meerkat, uh, I learned the technique there of uh, making cucumber salad uh, to get the uh, salt, I'd rather using salt uh, and pressure to get the water out. This is not one of those times. So we're gonna mix up our salad here. How are we doing? Three minutes behind. Already three minutes behind. Seems a little bit high on the yogurt to, to, to cucumber ratio here, but you know, we'll live. Okay. Uh, Abracadabra. Hey, oh, Rob! Hey, Rob! How you doing? I miss you guys! I miss you guys terribly. How have you been? How have you been dealing with the holidays? And congrats on going online only. I hope that's a, a happy, wonderful move for you. And a tasting time. Good. I think it needs more salt. No. No. No pepper. Right back. I try not to double dip. Okay. Didn't say anything about lemon or anything. Just the garlic, yogurt, and cucumber. And it has to sit for two hours, which is why I'm minutes behind. So, one more tasting here. Here we go. Looks delish. Thank you. Enjoy. Yeah. Refreshing. Nice. I can see that the flavors do need to settle. Um, so, we're going to cover you up. We have our lovely daisies, make our lily pads making a return appearance. Ta do. Okay, in case you haven't seen, Badia spices, yes. They're very good, they're the, the best, you know, bargain I found uh, when comparing um, the uh, spices. Uh, so this basically gets covered, gets put in the fridge. Uh, and now we move on to dish number two. If I can find room in the fridge. Okay. Phew. Moving on. We are making the Kudra Mafu ma Kudra Mafu One more time. Kudra Mafruka. Kudra Mafruka. Loving the music too. Yes. Well, it's music of Sudan. By the way, Sudan used to be the largest country in all of Africa. Um, you know, basically eternal civil war starting with independence in the 40s? No, no, 56. Uh, led to South Sudan, which is mostly Christian, becoming independent. And that's its own, you know, sadness uh, right now. But North Sudan is no longer, you know, that it's just the... <laughs> uh, Rob, you're funny. Uh, the, no longer the largest country, but it's mostly the Muslim nation on top, which has got its own series of stuff, and you've heard of the Darfur, and it's all like, you know, sad and tragic and stuff. Uh, but the food and traditions are very different in the north to the south, so now the north is all by itself. So, uh, here we're going to have a lot of stuff that's very specifically more Arabic than you are things that are uh, more of the, you know, Central African um, jungles and such, that uh, and marshes, which is uh, the south. So, um, quickly, we need to move on to uh, getting our meat ready. Uh, let me get dispose of some stuff here. Be right back. Okay, so that's still our garbage. And we've got our other bowls over here. So this dish 
is uh, made with uh, beef or chicken. Please tell me no sheep heads. No sheep heads, no. Um, I mean, you will find as uh, in many countries where access to refrigeration is not common, uh, people will, you know, have the live animals and bring them, bring it with them, and then slaughter the animals for the feast right there, and then have just about every part of the animal. Um, so, you know, that's where you get sheep heads and stuff like that. We're not doing that. Uh, Diana, hello, hey, howdy, Santa trees to you. Um, no, this uh, can be done with beef or chicken. Uh, of course, you're not gonna be using pork, it being a Muslim nation and all. Uh, since I want the meat to be very tender, and since sirloin is not terribly expensive here where we live, I'm using sirloin fillets for this. So, I need to chop that into pieces. I didn't want to use chicken um, because the way it's fried, uh, well, it's, it's sort of boiled and then fried, uh, is a not, um, I, I don't know if that would work. So, that's uh, my rationale on using uh, the sirloin beef as opposed to chicken. Uh, the interesting uh, ingredient here will be coming right up as soon as I finish cutting this meat. Uh, this is the one reason I chose to do this particular dish uh, because it uses a piece of produce that uh, I really didn't think I could find. And uh, it actually has come up before and I didn't think I could find and I, so I didn't do it before. But uh, now uh, I did find it and so we're doing it. Uh, Lavender Femchi, hey, thanks for the restream. Stream crash, I said I'd get back on later, lol. Um, oh, but Rob, it's so nice seeing you guys. I have not been Snapchatting much lately because it's just been like family stuff and stuff around uh, the last weekend. But it's all been so frantic. I do not miss life in retail though, so. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. So we're uh, chopping this up into bite-sized uh, portions on the uh, sirloin. This is going to be uh, boiled, uh, fried, sautéed, I guess, with the onions, but then boiled and then fried afterwards, which is unusual, uh, but that's the technique here. So we're going to see how that works. Incidentally, uh, like I said, I got sirloin because, you know, usually I'd get stew beef for things. Um, but that it takes a while for that to get tender, and we wind up going, well, it's okay, but it's kind of chewy, and then the husband isn't that excited about it. So um, what I thought of buying was um, meat tenderizer, not the you know mallet kind, but the sort of uh, chemical kind, because uh, the more I read about it, the more I'm like, for Pete's sake, why doesn't everybody use this? Um, and then I realize you can't find it. Um, meat tenderizer is basically a papaya. Uh, there's a chemical in papaya and in pineapple that breaks down the collagen um, the, the, that, hold, that holds the meat tissue together. So it makes your meat tender, you know, without having to spend a crazy amount of time cooking it. However, uh, I sent the husband out for some and all he could find some that were like mostly salt. And I was thinking, no, 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 no. So I need to go buy it off Amazon or something, which I hate to do. Uh, I'm not bothered you and Vicky. I'm really busy. Just in from work. Hey, Carrie, how you doing? Ah, yes. I just got back from a run, so I'm uh, a little wonky. Okay. So um, let me um, show you. This is our meat. Uh, our, our fun new pro our produce, uh, but hold on, I gotta clean this off first. Moment for cleanliness. I'm so thirsty.
you know, funny thing about these runs, I weigh myself before and after, and it's it's insane. I, I sweat off uh, anywhere from three to three and a half pounds between I, when I start and I finish running. It's it's bonkers. It scares me. How's the running going? That yes, I just came back from doing ten miles right now, which would have been fine. I've gotten super used to that, but. Uh, this weather has been crazy. It's everyone up north uh, on the eastern seaboard is saying how hot it is. How it's you know, not like December, and you know, wouldn't you know? Right here, it decided it's gonna like feel like 87, feels like 90 this afternoon. So uh, it was like it was August almost, which I do not enjoy. And now I've been running in in the evenings at sunset, but of course I had to be back for this. So. I had to endure the sun. Is it bad if I cut vegetables and then cut meat, but I never wash it? You should wash the cutting board until I finish using it. Um, apparently, if you're doing vegetables, you can just go ahead and do vegetables. If you're doing meats, do meats. But if you're going between meats and vegetables, definitely, definitely clean. Um, and the other way is good too. But yes, always after cooking, after using cutting meats, always clean and wash everything. One thing that I know. Okay, uh, introduce you to our new little friend. Drum roll, please. Uh, he's hiding in here somewhere. That's not him. Where are you? I. Where did he get put? I did not put him in myself. I saw it. I just need to find it. I'm on a hunt. No. Aha! Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you minced molokia, aka jute plant. AKA sometimes it's called uh, okra leaves, even though I guess it's not really the leaves of an okra plant. Uh, you might be able to find them fresh, uh, but uh, we had to find them frozen. And I didn't think I'd find them anywhere, uh, but they said that uh, you could find them if you went to an African market. We don't really have an African market, we have like a humongoid international market, which is kind of light on African. Or a Middle Eastern market. We found a Middle Eastern market, Kind of. Um, it was called the Middle Eastern Market. But you want to hear something really sad? They changed their name on the sign outside to Mediterranean Market because they don't want people mad at them. That's very sad. I know I cut vegetables after I cut meats. Yeah, don't do that. Um, so, I'm going to put these in some water to defrost them. Maybe a bigger bowl. Okay. Uh, I need to find an international market here. Um, it's easier to find down where you are than it is up here. Chicken and pork I cut up on a plastic type cutting board, not a wooden, freaks me out. Yeah, but clean. Whatever you do, clean. Um, okay, so while that defrosts over there, um, we're gonna peel and chop two onions. Uh, just bought me more onions. I think I'm becoming a convert to the uh, school of by only the onions and potatoes you need, and not a big bag of them. Because at the, at the grocery store, you'll, they'll say, oh, buy a big bag, except, you know, in the bag, you get some that are nice and some that are, mmm, old. Got some to get you. Uh, the wooden ones are supposed to be better. Yes, uh, that, so I gather. So, uh, I'm using yellow onions uh, when I looked uh, at recipes uh, for the other dish and I see videos online. It looks like people are using red onions, um, but uh, the recipes don't specifically say 
and uh, my sort of default onion is always a yellow onion. When I started, it was a white onion because uh, I didn't know any better. And then I found out that wasn't the right onion. White onions, uh, while wonderful and great, uh, they are more specifically used in uh, Spanish and Latin uh, cooking uh, because, uh, like in salsas and things like that, uh, they hold a whole lot more water. Um, so when you have a salsa and you see big pieces of onion, that's a white onion in there. I tend not to get sweet onions um, just because. Uh, so yellow onions it is. Uh, and of course when I need shallots, I get shallots, which is a s separate beast. As are green onions and spring onions, which are sort of the same, but not. But not for this dish. Hi, hey, Martina. Hi, Cliff. You always seem to pop in while you are chopping onions. Indeed. This combo could take a different turn um, stopping there. Uh, I missed, I, I obviously missed the first part. I like adult. Cliff, cry, cooking this with onions. When I was a kid, my grandparents used to buy a 25 kilo bag of spuds. Oh, thank you for the reaching, Mr. Martina. Uh, okay, I think I'm cut up. Okay. Ahem. Do, 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 do. Okay, yes, always chopping onions. Oh, wow. Um, anybody join us here on, um, on Saturday? It was uh, odd cooking on a Saturday. I didn't really expect to see anybody. We had a nice amount of people. Nice number of people, and it tasted really good. Um, the cinnamon beef on uh, on the garasa, which are, this is also serving on garasa. The uh, greens we're gonna use there, uh, they do a rather interesting thing with these greens, which I have never seen done uh, in terms of a preparation uh, for greens. So, um, should be interesting. Uh, Mighty CBU, thank you for liking the restream. Jay, hello Jay, how are you doing? Welcome. We are chopping onions, which is always the chit chattiest portion of our evening. Every recipe in the world, it seems, starts with chop an onion, saute an onion, maybe some garlic. Uh, speaking of garlic, um, now I don't know exactly where garlic originated. I could look that up. Um, however, when reading about the food of Sudan, again, it talks about how, you know, the very limited resources and so on and so forth. But uh, as the different uh, people came from different parts of the world and sort of, you know, took over uh, from the Ottomans to the Egyptians, well, they were part of the Nubian Empire. Uh, so very much part of uh, what we consider Egypt, which is next door. Uh, in fact, there are very large pyramids, beautiful pyramids in Sudan, which are not uh, quite as well known as the uh, Great Pyramids in Egypt, uh, but also, you know, beautiful. And uh, they're there. Uh, but in any case, as different people came to Sudan, uh, different, uh, they brought different ideas and different, you know, uh, elements and garlic being one of them. Oh my, lots of conversation. Okay, so we're going to chop, chop, chop our onion. Uh, in the north, uh, being a more Arab nation, uh, the uh, food tradition is different than the south, and uh, normally here, uh, the men and women will be eating separately. Uh, the food will be served in the center of the table, and then people sort of take from it communally. We're not serving that way here. Um, but, uh, that's one way things are different in the south than in the north than in the south. But still a very, very large country. Uh, you have the haboobs. Is that how you pronounce it? The haboob? The, uh, giant sandstorms? I mean, imagine a hurricane, now make it all sand. Would not want to live with that. Uh, but this flatbread, this, um... Gorasa that we're making, that we made on Saturday, we're making again today. Uh, the other option on the flatbread is Kisra. Uh, I believe we did a version of Kisra for the uh, South Sudan. Uh, that one we made with um, sorghum flour. Uh, the recipe I saw for the North Sudanese 
uh, Kisra involved rye flour, like uh, you know, rye, um, like rye bread. Uh, however, uh, that requires um, a day or so of fermenting, and I didn't have that kind of time. So uh, I decided to go with Gorasa times two, since I can do that right away. It's also now severe drought. Ah, dang it, it goes too fast. Uh, as bad as uh, the one I had Live Aid 30 years ago. Yes, it is. South Sudan is officially the saddest country on earth. Um, I mean, there's a... Uh... Random fact, there's a pizza right by the pyramids in Egypt. Yes, yes, you there is. And you can see the... It's very weird. You can see the pyramids from the... Uh, from there. Okay, lovely. Is I gotta go back to work. Night, 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 Rob. So good to see you. Uh, yes, but the Sudanese pyramids, check them out. Uh, go to Google uh, Google Maps if you can find the, the town that they're in. And then look at the, uh, what do you call it, the Google Dome or Google 3D or whatever it is they call it, where you get like a, a surround sound, you know, surround view of it. It's really crazy that they're these pyramids that other people don't really know about. In fact, in fact, I have a friend right here who has um, been desperate for me to cook the food of Sudan because he's going to spend Christmas in Sudan. All his friends think he's crazy. But uh, no, he, he thought it was called off because they were like, oh, you know, concerns, uh, so the security concerns, but they said, no, it's back on. So he's going to go spend Christmas looking at... Uh, ancient pharaohs and studying up on that um he's uh, he and his husband try to go no, i don't think they're married he and his boyfriend are trying to go um to you know basically every country it seems like every few weeks they're in a different country they were just in chile it's it's kind of crazy every time i look up on my face, face facebook feed i'm saying like oh yes we're in mauritius and i'm like wow okay bring back some vanilla Uh, but he said he didn't know what to eat when he got to Sudan, so he's looking forward to do this right here. So he'll know what to have. The wall. I hope I'm not missing anybody. Oh, thank you for the follow, laundry model. Okay, we're cut up. So, that's a little bit of Sudan. Um, like I said, it was... um part of Egypt that was kind of controlled by, jointly by Egypt and Great Britain until the 50s. Uh, but uh, like I said, they had a, a war with South Sudan uh, for decades and then was off and then started again. Um, but like I said, there's still a war. So I said South Sudan is uh, um, supplanted uh, Somalia as the saddest country on earth in the sort of uh, fragile state index. Um, but, uh, Sudan is, uh, not doing too great either, which is very, very, very sad. I mean, things might be, like, marginally better now than they were just, you know, a couple of years ago. So, you know, maybe, hopefully. Progress, we hope, would be nice. Uh, do do do, do. Uh, however... Um, it's kind of high up on the list of countries where most people are leaving. Uh, it was odd thing about that. I looked at that list, except it wasn't just like UN member states list. It was like every everywhere list. Uh, aren't the pyramids the stepped pyramids? Um, they, uh, I think that's more like the the the, Me the Mexican the Aztec pyramids. Um, they look, they're smaller, and they're like kind of chopped off on the top a little bit. Um, it's been a little while since I looked at the pictures, so I apologize if, if I get part of that wrong. But they do look a little more decomposed, they look smaller. Um, but you don't see, you know, when you look at pictures, you don't see nearly as many people around because, you know, not a whole lot of people like run to Sudan to go on vacation. But, uh, my friend, who I mention every time, who got the Guinness Book, you know, the Guinness record for going to every country in the world without flying. Um, in fact, a uh, birthday present, the husband had, um, the, the, the individual in question lives in, in, on private island in Panama that he won on a internet reality show. 
but he had, the husband had the, bought a Guinness Book of World Records, found the record, and then shipped the book to Panama to have my friend sign it. And uh, so that was my birthday present, which is very nice. In any case, my friend was in Sudan. Uh, the first time, South Sudan wasn't, wasn't a country yet. So South Sudan had to be his last country. Uh, he was doing, all, you know, he spent like two years just trying to get to all these island nations, trying to get around the Indian Ocean. And then finally, when he's all out in the Pacific, they go, oh, there's a new country called South Sudan. It's like, ah, oh, nuts. So he had to, you know, haul his butt all the way back to Africa just to get to South Sudan. But when he's in North Sudan, uh, the Nile goes down and to cross from Egypt to Sudan, there's a, a ferry. So there's a land border, there's like a water border. So you have to take a ferry to get across um, this big lake and uh, somewhere on the Nile. And from there he said, I need to go see those pyramids. So he did. And so I was looking at all the pictures all the way along the way and I was like, oh, that's so cool. So there's that. Oh, about the sad everyone leaving thing. Um, you can kind of guess what country most people are leaving right now, which is, you know, super sad. Uh, but, the, uh, the, but all the other ones at the bottom, near the bottom, weren't what I expected. Were not. They're mostly island nations and territories, including Puerto Rico, which is my people. Which, kinda, I mean, I kind of knew, but seeing it in black and white like that is very, very sad. But everyone is, everyone is having to, to get out. So, gives you some sympathy for, for people. There's, there's, in, in all their various internal conflicts and in the Darfur, etc., there was like two million people displaced and hundreds of thousands killed and then it stopped and then it started again and it's not a good scene. But the food is, can be very nice. What's the dish you're making, please? Uh, I am making, uh, right now, uh, I'm making a kudra mafruka, which is a, um, uh, sort of like a stew. Hey, Hector, thanks for the like. Um, which is sort of like a stew with these greens, uh, which are like jute leaves, J-U-T-E leaves, uh, which I have not used before. I uh, found them at the Middle Eastern market, which, like I was saying before, like just a few, in the last few weeks had to change the, their sign outside to say Mediterranean market. Not good. Uh, nice place, wonderful food. And they had my jute greens. So, uh, okay, so we got our onions. There's not a whole lot to chop, thankfully. Not a whole lot of ingredients here. I'm just really slow on the prep. As you all know. See a scheduled stream going, no, I'm not going to be starting. I'll wait an hour or two after he's chopped his onions, then I'll be ready. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. Cliff is fine, it doesn't have to be Cliffy. But you know, Cliffy is nice. Um, okay, lastly, in terms of the chopping, um, to you too, Tammy. Mm. Uh, okay, so uh, we're gonna use a quarter bulb, not a quarter clove, but a quarter bulb of garlic. And what I have left here is the nubbins of one, and I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think. Oh, maybe it will. Okay, I dubbed the quarter. Uh, so, we got you. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna say that whatever what I have here is a quarter. I didn't see you, sorry. Okay, do I have anything left in here? Is it just garbage in here? Are we done? Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna add one more just for good measure.
Because it didn't specify. Lol. Okay. There we go. So, I dubbed the one quarter. So, and what are we doing with these? We're going to crush them. Crush them. We shall crush them. Okay. I am so dehydrated, it's not even funny. Like I said, I lose three and a half to four pounds every run. I mean, water. Um, I'm here cutting up veggies, lol. Okay. So, garlic, quickly. Ay, fly, fly. Garlic, away with the. This is kind of cool. It's very Starbucks. He said ironically. What's uh, the um, put? What do you call those? Um, put the, those uh, world music compilations. You find them at all the, you know, world boutiques and Starbucks. Put Putamara or something. That's not what this is. But whenever I see those again, the OCD kicks in. I'm like, I want all of them. I want one from every country. I want one now. OCD can be a terrible thing. Hmm. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. So, how's life in Meerkat world? I, I have limited time to see. And, um, I'm always watching Lady in the Mornings and David Dorian and if anyone else is on, then, and then sort of like midday. Uh, no, no, nothing against people who play music and stuff, but I already have my own music playing, so, you know, I, I tend to skip those. So, kind of leaves me with no, not a whole lot to watch on Meerkat, which is kind of a shame. Um, and the rest of the time I'm busy. So, it's nice to have y'all get, get to see people, theoretically speaking. Yeah. And you know, when I explain this to people, they just don't have a clue. They don't, they're just, they just look at me like I'm a crazy person. Like I'm standing in my kitchen talking to myself. It's kind of what the cat thinks. It's like, what is your problem? Why are you always in there making noise and you're babbling and there's no one around? The humans confuse me. Okay. So now we're going to crush this. But you know what? I'm going to crush it and then I'm going to try to do more to it too. Come back here. Don't you get away. Okay. Okay. We smash. Hulk smash. Uh, by the way, I had thought that Sudan was going to be our last country of the year. However, then I looked at the calendar. And I have time to do one more country this year. I did not expect to be doing that. I did not expect to be doing that. I am crudely chopping these smashed garlic. And I know I probably shouldn't be doing this until like near the end, but screw it. I've got stuff to do. I'm gonna need to get both because my back is starting to give out. Okay. And that uh, does it for our prep. My mom has a hard time with email. I tried to explain Meerkat. She would think I was off my rocker. Yeah. Idea. My mom's actually, like, watched from time to time. Uh, which is nice. And she actually figured out how to type something in last, uh, last stream. Kind of blew my mind. It was so sweet. She's like, oh, I'm learning. It's like, yeah, good, 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 good. Okay. So let me toss this stuff, and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, water, so I don't die. So let's take a look. I mean, they haven't been sitting there for very long, but our juice greens have been sitting defrosting in water right here. This is the sort of the star of our show today. 
Um, uh, it's a Malukia. Malukia. So it's Malukia greens, also known as the jute plant. Um, common in Middle Eastern cuisine, in some African cuisine. Um, African Middle Eastern cuisine. And uh, this is not defrosted much. But that's okay. So... We're gonna let this sit here for a while longer because we're not gonna be using it right away. But since it is, oh my God, 6.22, yeah, let's go. Let's go, everyone. We're firing up stuff earlier than we're used to because there wasn't that much on the prep time. So we are gonna start out right here and we're gonna have our medium saucepan. We're also gonna need our skillet. Uh, this also, by the way, did not mention what kind of oil to use. I presume peanut oil is the oil of choice here uh, because uh, it's so common. Uh, peanuts everywhere. There's just not peanuts in this particular dish. Change the water, it'll thaw faster. Oh, interesting. I will do that. New tips, yay! I mean, it's not gonna matter a ton because these are green, so they're gonna be like boiling in water anyway, but you know. Um, if you can find fresh ones, that's better, but you know, that I knew was not gonna happen. So, uh, let's get our onions and garlic over here. We got our onions. I'm gonna take off the lid. And our garlic, which uh, actually comes later. And uh, what else we got? We got our meat. And then we're gonna use peanut oil. So peanut oil, right here. So uh, Africa, I mean, sometimes it'll call for vegetable oil, uh, but usually it's gonna be, from what I've seen, uh, peanut oil, or if you're uh, talking West Africa, red palm oil, uh, which is unique. Unique to West Africa, not this part of Africa. Not that I've seen anyway. I always have to qualify everything I say. I never want anyone from a certain place mad at me. Like people of a certain place got one time. Okay. So, God, we've got a lot of bowls everywhere. Okay. Alright. Spatula time. Uh, so, one more time. This is... Uh, it's gonna be served on the flatbread. It's, um, it's, the meat though, uh, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, it says normally, it says the meat is served on a separate plate. However, I've seen pictures where it's on top. And we don't like having separate plates, generally speaking. So, we'll find out. Uh, I want to make sure this is hot enough before I start sautéing. I always jump the gun on that. Uh, and this is not flat, see that? That also makes me crazy. And I, I mean, logic suggests it's the pot, but maybe it's the stove. I don't know. And I know Santa Claus is not bringing me a gas stove. I don't think it would fit in a sleigh. Come on, baby, heat up. I know if I drop it in now, it's just gonna be like, and it's gonna sit there. Now here's a weird thing. The, the premise is that the onions and the beef go in here, then it cooks, then it gets covered with water, it boils, and then the meat comes out and then the meat gets fried separately. In, you know, what I've experienced, logic would suggest, hey, sear the meat first and then put it in the water. But hey, this is their traditional recipe. It's not mine. 
So uh, this is sort of gonna saute it a little bit, sear it a little bit, which is why I'm hoping the heat gets to where it needs to be before I start. Water. Ay bendito. Okay. You'd be surprised what Santa can fit in a slot. Yes. Has anyone in the world ever actually gotten a car with a bow on top? I mean, really, honest and truly? I mean, I sh well, I shouldn't say. I live close enough to the 0.0001% that I'm sure that they do all the time. So... I just have never seen or experienced it. Okay, here we go. Time to go. Get my camera ready for the millionth picture of onions going into oil. Wow. You know, I should just say insert photo of this again here. Again, logic would suggest, you know, let these soften sort of by themselves first. I'm going by their deal. Not me, yeah. Well, it's kind of funny when you're, like sometimes when you find yourself rubbing shoulders with people from, you know, that kind of strata, that in casual conversation, things that come up and you just go like, huh? Like that, I can't imagine. I, I don't want to like gossip about people I know, but stuff like that. I had a car with duct tape on it. Does that count? Ha ha ha, cute. Okay, so onions in. Now the meat's gonna go in. This gonna go in for about five minutes. So this is probably gonna put the sear on the meat briefly. Come on, you can get out of there. Like, did you ever see that show, Super Sweet 16, on MTV? And the girls with their Sweet 16 parties, and they're like fully expected Kanye West to show up, and you know, and everyone would like get off watching these girls going, God, I hate them. They're so spoiled. I grew up around a lot of that. But it's really weird when you sort of like take that kind of stuff for granted and you don't know that, no, not everyone, you know, gets to have international recording stars show up to like wish you a happy 16th birthday. It's just a thing. I mean, we enjoy where we live, it's nice. So the weird part is that sometimes, you, like again, we're bumping into someone who lives nearby and you realize, oh, for them, this is like their fourth house. You know, this is their little, you know, beach cottage. It's like, oh, okay. Never mind. Five minutes, we're letting this go for five minutes. Oversharing. Okay, incidentally, again, uh, for the uninitiated, uh, as we wait for this to cook, this is the Global Cooking Challenge, where I am teaching myself to cook in a four-year project, started in 2012, after not cooking for 30 years, never learning to cook, started dish, did a dish from Afghanistan, came out quite well, which led me to do a dish uh, from each UN member state, each nation, uh, one country a week, in alphabetical order to get myself around the world. This is week number 163 of 100 and, no, this week 164 of 193, uh, we're doing Sudan. Uh, all the information, everything that predated Meerkat, etc., is all up at uh, cookieland.com. 
you go there, like, subscribe. You can follow here on Meerkat also. Uh, so you can be advised and notarized about when new streams will be scheduled or starting. Uh, Cliffyland.com, you'll see the blog, everything that led up to today. Uh, these days, they also have pictures, links to the original recipes, uh, reviews of how it went, information about the countries, their flags, and links to these videos, Ratchia, in case there's something you missed and you'd like to see. Got another couple minutes to go on this. This is kind of technically on a medium high. And I don't know if I should be moving it around so much or not. You're awesome, Cliffy. Thank you, Tammy. You rock. Oh, I should take this moment for um, Advil break. I Stay ahead of that muscle pain. It's weird, like, I run so much and you figure your body gets used to it, but... At night, it decides, no, it's not used to it. You've got that down pat. Good job. <laughs> well, yeah, I've been, say I've been saying that long enough. So, it's uh, my elevator speech. And the odd part is, though, it's taken a while just from doing it with this, that now, like at a cocktail party, or, you know, as it comes up, and I would always struggle to sort of explain everything, but now I'm like, like just say that, and they go, oh god, that's so cool. Yeah. That's so much more interesting than the, you know, what do you do for a living conversation, which is always like, oh, I work in an office, so, you know, I'm an accountant, I do, but it's like, that's, okay. So, five minutes down. Uh, now, we're going to add four and a half cups of water to this. I mean, it could have been beef broth, but it said water, and, you know, we're going to go with water. Because that's what it said. Okay, here we go. That's two. This is going to be weird. We're going to see why it's going to be weird in a minute. But you're going to see how it's going to be weird really soon. And a half. It was metric. It was one liter of water. So, in case you're wondering why four and a half cups. Or, yeah. Metric. Okay, so now we're going to bring the sucker to a boil. And uh, then we're going to cover it. Uh, it said when the meat li liquid had evaporated from the meat, and uh, I didn't do that. So uh, we're going to let that cook for about 10, 15 minutes covered uh, once this starts to boil. Um, the way I'm timing this out is that this part of it uh, has to be done because then uh, the leaf part, which is, you know, that's what's defrosting over there, uh, that takes uh, 30 minutes from the end. So whatever I do, I have to have this part done in time, shall we say. Uh, got that plugged up. Yes. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to heat up in my skillet over here. Hi there. Uh, more peanut oil. Hopefully it'll sit for long enough. One tablespoon. Oh, that's the whole thing. Oh my goodness, there goes the peanut oil. End of peanut oil. More room in the cabinet. Hope I remember to buy more. Hold on. Oh 
Oh my goodness. I'm so hungry today. Can't seem to find anything to satisfy my hunger. LOL. Watching this isn't helping, but I won't betray you for my hunger pangs. <laughs> Sarait. Eat virtual food. Does that work? No? Okay, so back over here, well, this is heating up. This is starting to come to a boil. So now we're gonna turn it down to a simmer. Obviously the beef fat is coming up to the top, that's the foam. And uh, I, I fear this is gonna um, bubble over, but uh, I turn it down to a simmer. And this has to sit there for 10 minutes until the meat is tender. So that could be 10 minutes, it could be 15 minutes, we don't know. So, uh, hopefully that oil will be hot by the time I need it and it won't be too hot. I'm trying to regulate. Meanwhile, I'm gonna prep uh, a couple little things um, in the short time here. Um, I don't really have to, but you know, it'll make, it'll kill time. So we're gonna need uh, baking soda. Baking soda, I got baking soda. Baking soda, I got baking soda. I'm guessing maybe one of you gets that. Um, and uh, so a quarter teaspoon of baking soda going up here. That is a bubbling like foaming and looking really ugly. So quarter teaspoon of baking soda right there. And we're gonna get out a teaspoon of ground black pepper also. This is kinda catchy, I don't mind this. Okay, jeez, look at that. Um, I almost used a whole gigantic thing of black pepper. So a teaspoon, teaspoon of black pepper. That's kind of a lot, which is good. But let me tell you, I was so surprised as to how well that dish tasted uh, on Saturday. The cinnamon beef, the cinnamon and cardamom, oh my God, with the tomatoes and the kind of puree of onions. I did not see that's where we have in common this dish from Saturday and the dish from tonight. It seems to be a thing. Uh, pureeing vegetables, which is odd. I would never think to do that on my own. But that's what they do. Ah. Okay, so, 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 uh, we've got that. Uh, let's see how our leaves are going, hey? While we're, while, while, while we're waiting. Our Malokia. Is there Malokia? They seem to be frosted to a degree. Ah, change out the water, you said. Do that again. Okay. I changed out the water. Ah, you know what's happening? Steam is hitting your face. It may be good for your complexion, but it's not good for the phone. This way, steam this way. Okay. Um, you know what, while that goes, uh, I'm gonna prep 38, 48. Uh, I'm gonna move you. And I'm gonna get started on our, uh, our garasa. A garasa again, a garasa times two, a garasa redo. The garasa awakens. Did anyone hear? There's actually a Star Wars movie coming out. I had no idea. Some, some I, I just get this feeling that there might be a Star 
there's been a disturbance in the force. Just get a feeling. I really haven't heard much about it. Um, okay, so I am going to have the recipe this time because I actually eat, have leftover of the previous ones. However, they didn't look really great. Hey, Diana, welcome back. So I'm going to try to use half. And you know what? I might even wing it with the baking soda because um, I may use more baking so baking powder, baking powder. Um, because the idea was supposed to be like spongy and bubbly, and it didn't look spongy and bubbly. It looked flat. It looked okay. The ones that came out crepe-like, you know, they were okay. Um, so I think uh, I think I'm gonna do that. Maybe I'll need a little bigger bowl. So here goes. Welcome to the flour. One more dime. Once more into the bleached flour. I posted my status update about this. Again, I don't like making fun of a tragic situation. But I was like, oh, tonight we cook with food of Sudan where everything is peaches and cream. And the Nile isn't just a river in Egypt. You see, because the Nile actually goes through Sudan and denial, the word play. Okay, so, uh, okay, so instead of three cups, I'm going with a cup and a half of the flour. Oh, my back. And a half. This could be like a pancake batter. But it's odd that it's just so... You know what? And I'm going to improvise this time, too. I'm going to add salt. Oh, there's supposed to be salt. Ugh, I just I guess I didn't add enough salt. So I'll add more salt. Okay, flour goes away. This is... I don't mind this. This is actually kind of good. There's this uh, a act of uh, musicians from the nation of Mali. Uh, which we cooked back in the M's before Meerkat. Mm, Meerkat. Uh, but uh, they were on Colbert Report a few years ago, and really good. I got the album. I hear it all the time. This is, you know, interesting like that, in that same way. So I am not taking pictures this time for this. Uh, dude, your cooking is giving me a chub. How nice. <sighs> Pleased to meet you. Uh, so, um, one teaspoon of baking powder, 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 not soda, baking powder, it's different. Okay, baking powder, and, uh, I'm gonna go with the full teaspoon, even though I cut the recipe in half. I'm just gonna see what happens. Watch what happens live. Okay, no pictures for you. Okay. And you go back. We have another three minutes on the boiling over here. And salt, stranger things have happened. They certainly have. I'm gonna put more salt in, because when I did this last time, I just added a little bit of salt, and I tasted it, and I went, nah, that's good, it really needs salt. And now I got salt all over the counter, too. Yay! Throw it over the shoulder. Dang it. Here. I have salty counters. Well-seasoned well granite. Okay. Already roo. Uh, and then just a certain amount of water. Come back, you go away. I'm gonna whisk this. To, I'm gonna whisk this together. So it blends before I add the water in. Is that an Italian accent? No, it's not. It's, it would be more of a Miami accent. It could be a Puerto Rican accent. It could be a 
acquired by Osmosis Cuban accent. Not 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 so really Italian. Okay, so how are we doing? One more minute on that, eh? Uh, let me get my water ready for this um, without actually putting it in yet. Can I have it ready? And shift. Okay, I'm smelling the the oil is what I'm smelling. It's uh, kind of hot. I have it on medium, um, but I don't know if that's too hot. But what we're about to do here is take the meat out of there. And you know what? I'm gonna use my spider. I don't use it enough, and it's kind of appropriate here. This spider, ooh, scary. Okay, here we go. Not pointing at you. Not trying not to burn myself either. How about going that way? Okay. Poopy. Let's see how tender it is. We're gonna find out. Uh, we're gonna need a fork. How about a spoon? No, a fork would be good. Come back. Dessert forks have to be good for something. What kind of food should I eat for max gains? I uh, don't know. Ask Max. What does he like? Uh, Bad Beef, hey, thanks for the like and the restream. Okay, how tender are you, eh? Tenderoni. Well, I'm gonna give it a bite and see what happens. What's the worst thing could happen? I could die! Okay, here we go. Needs a little more time. Yeah. Needs a couple longer. Ah, give it another few minutes. LMAO. <laughs> Thank you, Martina. I knew you'd appreciate that. Ah! How tender are you? Mm, not really a tender guy. Okay. Uh, water. Uh, and, oh, I need a wooden spoon, um, the spatula for this sucker. See how that works. Okay, here we go. We're trying to make batter. Like a pancake batter out of this. It's, uh, kind of a guesstimate on the water. You want it to be, like, thick like pancake batter. So I guess I need more water than that. Uh, I discovered that when I was doing this on Saturday, that um, it really matters to get the right texture. Um, because if it's too thin, that's not good. If it's too thick, uh, then it's um, it got all globby, like uh, a couple of them. So we had a few disasters. I'm hoping that my experience here, having done it on Saturday, will give me what I need to do it right this time. Because I went up adding water to it as I went, but. The first one was good, the second one was a disaster, the third one, you know, like the fourth and fifth ones were the ones that worked. And I had one for leftovers today, and it needed salt. I think you have an admirer, Cliffy. I know. Do a stream on stoner foods. Well, um, that well, certainly would be interesting. You know. Um, here in Palm Beach County, Florida, they just kind of legalized, you know, possession just today. 
Just saying. You know, when I run down the beach, especially on cloudy days when the surf isn't out, all the surfers go out. And, you know, they don't have a lot of surfing, so they sit in their cars and, you know, they have the windows open and I'm jogging by and I'm getting contact highs just down my jog. Makes for a pleasant surprise. I mean, since we're on the topic, you might want to leave some suggestions. You seem to be familiar with them all. Stoner Foods isn't just, isn't that just about anything. Um, not that I would necessarily know, um, from what I gather, um, no, there's specific, yeah, just kind of about anything. Um, no, but there's certain, apparently, like, meats and certain, I mean, if we're talking seriously here, and I'm not, again, I'm not, a, I'm hardly an expert on it, from what I've read, um, there's a reason that there's the, the thing about Doritos and Cheetos and da da da. It's like there's certain things in these foods that go like pair well with munchies. Um, so, I mean, if you see chefs, there's, you know, the, I mean, like look at Top Chef. Like half the time, that's what they're talking about. It's like, oh, it, you know, brings out the flavors and da-da, and they appreciate the food so much more. So, hey, more power to you. Uh, keep missing your streams. Can't wait till you try Scottish foods. Um, yeah, I know. I'm getting a lot of calls. We've got Derek. We've got you. Um, a, a couple other people. Um, so, UK. It will be one night of UK. I will promise I will dedicate to Scottish food. You'll have time to send in your suggestions. And... Um, I'm thinking, I mean, I could do the mess of week once, United Kingdom, United States. So that's 174. So that would be 60, 10, 11 weeks from this week is when we're doing UK. So count out 11 weeks because we're taking one week off for New Year's. So that's, that seems like a decent texture right there. How about some hash brownies? I would not be the expert on that. Besides, I don't do desserts. Mm. Who knows? And cook Uruguay. They, 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 they legalized it, right? That's two weeks after UK. Okay, let's see if I can get you in there without burning you. Mm, are you going to make haggis? I think I'm gonna have to. Hash brown, uh, hag I think I'm gonna have to. Um, although, I've been told right here that Scottish food is so much more than haggis. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm guessing it is. I mean, I assume it is. Um, however, you have to admit, that's kind of the first thing that Comes comes to mind, and then there's the whole "what you're making for the United United States" thing that's come up also, which seems exceedingly boring to me. Mom, hey mom, hi, you made it. You missed the previous conversation. Um. Okay, we're looking for tender here. Hmm, tender enough. Yeah, not yeah, tender. So, the meat goes out of here with our spider. Now, that's gonna be tricky getting the meat out without getting the onions. I think that's going to be next to impossible. I don't think they bargained on the meat being so small. Shenanigans. Um, well, I'll use the fork. Okay. In which case, I can just scoop out the whole sucker. 
Okay. These are get it out this way. This is gonna be fried now. Don't ask me why, it just is. Oh, you know, I think I just figured out what the deal is with the um, with the pureeing. Uh, when we cooked on Saturday, the uh, the onions and garlic were all pureed, which seemed kind of crazy to me. And um, but uh, it was really delicious. And now I think I see where this is going. It's just a a, a more verdant version of that which is gonna have the uh, jute leaves uh, in there with it. So that's all gonna get pureed. So uh, when you look at the dish, pictures of it, it looks like a green liquid poured onto the flatbread, which does not sound incredibly appetizing, I know. But uh, I kind of thought that about Saturday's dish um, and it wound up being really great. So what do I know? I think I really should have made the meat in bigger portions for this particular task but uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, nice apron, did Meerkat send it to you? No, oh thank you, uh, Pat, bro no, uh, this is from the fine folks at the Funky Fairy. Uh, the Funky Fairy at meerkattees.com. Uh, that's meerkattees.com. The greatest, nicest people you'll ever meet. Uh, embroidery shop, they have all sorts of backpacks and t-shirts and aprons and all sorts of stuff you can have uh, customized to your heart's delight with uh, names of uh, you or your kids or what have you. Um, they have a shop in England and now they're going to be internet only, I see. Um, really great people. Rob was just on here earlier. They were nice enough. They made me three aprons. One I accidentally destroyed, so I had to buy another one. That was my fault because I was... Red wine was splashing around. I didn't even notice it. I hope I'm not missing comments while I'm doing this. There's a lot of onions coming in here too. Uh, thank you for the follow. Stream a video of making bl blumpkins. Uh, I, they are great. I don't know what that is. Uh, blumpkins. I do not know what those are. Isn't certain things illegal in the States for haggis like sheep stomach? Uh, probably. Uh... Somebody told me that uh, sheep lung um, is is not legal to be sold um, in the state, so that might be an issue. Although, um, when I was looking for a different kind of offal um, for another country which I went up not using, I was referred to uh, what the mouse to a Jamaican market uh, down in West Palm Beach that uh, has things like that. So, and I think stomach might be, oh no, stomach, you can get stomach anywhere. Um, uh, tripe is just cheap, am I right? I had tripe when I was cooking, uh, eating a Spanish dinner for my birthday. Thanks, mom. Uh, by the way, I don't think I'd ever had tripe before. Um, I wasn't grossed out by, oh, okay, I was a little grossed out by it, but I ate it anyway. Um, the texture, I mean, it was cooked so it was soft enough and it was flavored right. Um, but uh, that's not something I really look forward to having again. Okay, I think I've gotten... Uh, uh, well, listen, that's what I think from, from a post they did on Facebook. So um, I will do that. I mean, I can, from what you've been saying, I'm kind of guessing the, from the first part of that. But that's a different discussion. So now that we've got that here, now we're going to move over here. Google a Blumpkin. Best band name ever. Okay. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna get the meat and it's gonna go into here and unfortunately we've got onions going in with it too, but hey, that happens. That was too hot. Stay back. I'm okay. Don't worry. Ah, uh, gotta gotta out. Gotta move. Don't want to burn you. Uh, time to report and block. Yeah. 
if you feel like it. I'm not, I'm not terribly bothered. I'll let you know when I'm bothered. Okay, after I clean up the giant mess that I have done made here, That will be cleaned more thoroughly shortly. Oh my god, that really went everywhere, didn't it? Wow. Okay. I thought I had that on like a decent temperature that wasn't too high. I was wrong. Meanwhile, this is like a medium medium. Sorry, I have to see it from so far away. Ah, yes, thank you, poor Stevens. Okay. So now that this is sort of fried, cooked and fried, I gotta turn that way down. In fact, I'm gonna turn that to low, because it's gonna be a long time. Long time before that gets used. So, it's funny how with the internet thing, you have um, a little delay action. So, it's not like you get haha -ha, like right, you know, in the face without a 30 second delay. So now, that it is uh, 7.04, uh, it is time, the time has come. Whoa, Irish Mike. The time has come to, yay, take our quasi defrosted jute plant. One more time, this is our baby, the minced Malokia. You're a good chef, better than me, I love you. Aw, Mom! Sweet. Okay. Okay. Mom's learning to type on the, on the meerkat. Yay! Okay, so this is our jute plant, also known as okra leaves, even though they are not from the plant that gives us okra, to my understanding. Look at that. Look at what's on there. Do you see that? I think we got a little, um, what you call, uh, yeah, igloo. I do not know why there would be an igloo. Maybe because it's frozen? Irish Mike, thank you for the follow. Hello! He's just holding the screen, looked like the mirror. He's holding that screen, locked in the mirror from Roblox. Okay, your mom's a doll. She is, she is super sweet. Everyone loves my mom. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, what do you know? Look, look what this looks like. Look, I'll show you. Oh my God, shocking. It's in a bag. It's a bag inside a bag. It's very Inception. Now how you open the bag inside a bag, that's another question. Wow. This is, and it's leaking. It's got to come out of somewhere. I don't know how to open the damn thing. Well, here goes. It's already minced, which is gonna, you know, it's gonna make it uh, unnecessary to go through the blender, I'll tell you that much. Ew, it's going everywhere. Oh, wow, you're not even seeing. There's a chunk that's still frozen in here. Look. Uh, usually when you see recipes from anywhere, but particularly Africa, uh, where you see um, greens that you can't get in the States or elsewhere, 
Um, it just says use spinach instead. And I've used spinach instead like 80 million times. So this time I said, I'm gonna find, if I can find the thing, I'm gonna find the thing. Oh, this is so messy. My hands are covered in this stuff. Yuck. Okay, I need to wash this off immediately. Okay. Uh, uh, well, for Stevenson, um, I think mom will be okay if I say that she never learned to cook. So, um, you be, you're okay with that, right, mom? I mean, that's not, that's not a secret. Hey, Cliffy and the husband and a big hug to Cliffy, mom. Hope you're all well. Uh, thank you, Derek. I'm going to take this off the heat entirely because I'm getting worried about this heat over here. I'm going to have it on the lowest temperature. And now it's this fried, fried meat. It needs to be off the heat entirely. Besides, we're going to need this um, burner for other poipuses in moments. Okay, 709. Uh, okay, so now we have, did I take a picture of this sucker? Here it goes, that's in there. And uh, now we're gonna add the baking soda. Baking soda do, 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 to the saucepan. And uh, we're gonna stir that up. I'm gonna so have to mop here. So we're gonna let this come to a boil and then we're gonna let it simmer uh, for 30 minutes. See, what's supposed to happen is then this whole business winds up going into the blender. But it's assuming that you've got the whole leaves and not the mince you know, they already, whatever. So that. So let's get it to a boil first, and then we will deal with uh, what has to happen with the blender afterwards. I hope it's good. I really do. That meat's not looking really great right now. Okay. But we're going to make it work. Are we still on the same album? Yes, we're Boy, that's a long album. Okay. Boil! It's like when you put something that's part ice in, it's going to make it difficult to boil. I'll turn it up higher. I am worried about that meat. I mean, I think I've just kind of killed it. I think I successfully killed that meat. I really do. In fact, I'm going to take it out of here. I need a spatula for that. Meanwhile, this is starting to come to a boil. And then we're going to be making our gorasa again. Yes, crispy. Fried. I, I really think that's going to be horrible. I think I, I think I did not honor our protein. I really I really fear that that's what has happened. But hey, I'm following instructions. Maybe not right. Come on. Meat chunks. Well, no, actually, that's the onions, the burnt onions. Oh, burnt onions, that's great. That just hit me. I got burnt onions. I'm gonna pick them out with a toothpick. Okay, let's see how horrible this is. Wish me luck. Turning down the heat on this.
not horrible if seasoned properly, which I'm gonna do. This is bubbly. Hmm. Amar, thank you for liking the restream. Okay, so now that we got this bubbling, I'm gonna turn that down to a simmer. It says stir if it overflows. Apparently it's want to do that. Wow, this is liquidy, like, really. Now here goes, half an hour. Uh, I'm gonna wanna put the meat on top. Uh, somehow I'm gonna have to heat the meat up again. So it's not disastrous. It kind of looks disastrous. And it's not much of it either. Odd. Odd, odd, odd. But we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it all out. We have our batter for our garasa. Um, but I don't wanna make that until kind of the last minute. Um, so I need to keep it warm. I don't know, debating. I could just clean, get all this damn grease that I created all over creation. I have to mop after all this. Not to sweep, but mop a lot. Okay. Oh. Okay, so what's happening here? Um, half an hour, then it goes in the blender, and then it goes back in the pot, and then the garlic and pepper come in, and then that gets poured on top of the garasa, and we're gonna put the meat on top of it. Um, but I'm gonna heat up the meat. It's so dried out. It's sad. It's sad. Thankfully, there wasn't much of it. Thankfully. It, maybe if I salted. It's a little. Come back to life, meat. There isn't that much. I'm afraid if I take a bite, it's gonna be less left. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. That's not promising. How about some pepper? See if that can save, save, save our sad little meat. I don't think anything can save it though. You know what? I'm thinking of improvising. I have an idea. What if I um, kept that soaking in beef broth? I have beef broth. That wouldn't be the worst idea in the world, would it? Now, now this, is, this is the learning to cook part. This is where I'm like trying to figure stuff out. And that is getting kind of scary, the way it's bubbling. But beef broth. beef stock and just keep it soaking in there I hope maybe I can revive it in some fashion I'll be able to warm it up in it later I'm gonna keep that that burner on back there on a really like low the low on the stove is so low it's almost like off so Hopefully that's okay. And now I can get rid of this thing of beef stock. Alrighty. Uh, so, 716. I'm gonna give this another stir. Keep it from overflowing. Wow. I don't know how it's supposed to thicken if it's covered, but, you know, hey, what do I know? My 
lovely. Shush. That's the steam. Okay. Uh, I think you may need a vet. <laughs> you may need more than that. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. So let me put some stuff away here that I'm not going to need. Oh, and get out my griddle. And you know what? I've run out of peanut oil just now. So I think I'm going to have to, for my gorasa, I think I'm going to have to go with canola. The rule of cooking meat is let it rest before cutting it so the juices stay in and the meat won't dry out. Let me read that again. The rule of cooking meat is let it rest before cutting into mm -hmm, so the juices stay in and the meat won't dry out. Well, uh, the meat certainly did dry out, um, but this was cut before. There's a uh, one of these things with these sort of folk recipes is that they tend to be really sketchy. Uh, and not sketchy in a bad kind of way, it's sketchy in a not giving you a whole lot of necessary information kind of way. Um, so like, it just said meat. It said 250 grams of meat. Add the meat. And so it didn't say like chopped meat or diced meat or it just said chicken or beef. And Okay. I wanted something tender. Yeah. Oh well, so it is 7.18, I'm going to rig up a basket uh, or something that the uh, Nicarasa can stay warm in. I don't have a basket like you get in Indian restaurants for the flatbread, so I just have top plates. So. We're gonna have it covered in towels and uh, it'll stay a little warm, I hope. Derek, thank you for liking the restream. So I'm gonna get out. Uh... You know what, instead of canola, I'm gonna go with sunflower oil. Cause I know that has a higher smoke point and that might be helpful in this case. The very few things that I know, and that's one of them. I'm trying to remember when I started that. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay, a little bit of oil. And there's the husband, yay! Hello! Hello! I'm trying to revive the, the, the meat, the meat died. Oh dear. Died. Yeah, the cow just came in and died. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to, to make it okay. There's just not much of it, and it's not in the greatest shape right now. So you it away. Sort of, kind of. <laughs> it said 250 grams of meat. I just chose beef. I wanted. Hi there. Hi. Um, I wanted it to be um, tender, so I bought the sirloin, but it's only half a pound. Oh, that's and not much. That's not much. Step one. Step two, um, uh, it had to be seared, so far so good. Then it had to be boiled, mm, not so much. And then it had to be fried, which made it kind of... Seared, boiled, and fried, my goodness. Yeah, so that's kind of what happened to it. I can't, um, I don't see that other spatula. But, uh, oh, it's right in front of me. Okay. Okay, so spreading out the oil here. And uh, if you didn't see it last time, you're going to see it again. Making the gorasa. Gorasa. Enter. Enter the batter. So this is our batter for the gorasa. I am so going to have to clean this phone. Um, and I only made half of it. So these better work. These better work because, well, we do have leftover ones from last time, but not so good. 
Those cooking instructions for the beef sounds a lot as it was designed to really tough meat and not a prime cut. Now you've got it. See, ask someone who knows and they'll tell you. Good, good, good point. Good point. Now I know. Anyway. Uh, wow, okay. This is a hell of a long album. Oh, hi, Dad. <laughs> okay. So we're doing the Garasa one more time. And I only have half the batter. This demo better be hot enough. The key I found last time was to have the right amount of oil, the right amount of heat, and the right texture on the batter. Any one of those three things being off and you're out of luck. So I'm hoping to hit all three points right. Come on. Let's try three and a half. Derek, you knew, you understood. Say I should have run it past you before I started. <coughs> okay, come on. I'm trying to learn, like, when's the right time. Okay. I really want you to be right. Okay, here we go. Step one, batter. Can you see? Oh my god, the cat's made an appearance during the cooking thing. It's never happened before. And we spread, 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 in circular motion to make something that's crepe-like and I am not gonna use the remainder that's in this. That's a mistake I always make. I always pour a little more in when I shouldn't. I'm sorry I didn't hear earlier. It's okay. That's the way life is, Jocko. Do people call each other Jocko in, in Scotland? Where did I hear someone named Jocko in Scotland? I, somehow I, I have a connection between those two things. Was that Ava What's that? The, the, the Scottish character named Jocko. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't sound like Jocko it. McGillicuddy. Well, maybe. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't stick. When I saw them making the uh, Kisra, which is the, what the, the flatbread we made for South Sudan, you see video and you see them, the, the women of the village, kind of spreading it out into like a boomerang shape and spreading it with something that amounts to like a credit card. And uh, they're not doing the circular motion, but they do kind of pull in the ends and then, you know, with their hands, they flip it and this is sticking, which is not what I want. Not good. Come on, don't stick. That's why I wanted the right amount of oil. Come on. Come on, don't stick. Damn it. The, when they use the, um, nah, the middle died on that one. Ah, fooey. You got a donut. This happened last time. Shenanigans. Okay. One not so good. Uh, when I saw the South Sudan one, apparently the oil that they use, um, at least on the South Sudan one, was uh, they'll take a, a cow brain and just rub it. Oh, what a mess. Not a good one. Not a good one at all. Yeah, that one did not work. Okay. Okay. Uh, if not 
If not, they want to live, lol. Yes. Okay. Cover. Cover, meanwhile. Over here. Oil. Do we have enough oil? Question one. Is it hot enough? Question two. I'm thinking it's not hot enough. It didn't seem to cook through the way I expected it to. Did I have enough oil? I'm thinking I didn't have enough oil. Uh, just a teeny bit more. Sorry I don't have a cow brain handy. That's more than a teeny bit. Luckily I made enough where I could have like one failure. Okay. I don't know about that. Small element. Okay, here we go with number two. Attempt number two. Is this hot enough? It's now at a medium high. And go. Well, it's certainly bigger. Okay, stop. Put this back. So when it's cooked through... Is that mister? Light Force. Thank you for the like and the uh, restream. Is that mister Gomez? So now I'm seeing the bubbles, which is a, a good sign. Because I didn't get that last time. They're not uniformly there. But, uh... I want it to slide. I don't, know, I don't know if the sunflower versus peanut oil is affecting this. But I want it to slide. There we go, sliding action. This is very different than the last one, than the last time on Saturday. I mean, the color is even different. Okay, it seems to have cooked through. So that's one good one. Uh, away with the... I'll show you. I'll show you so you can see. That one came out okay. I love you, baby, too. Okay. Alrighty. Back to you. Uh, you know what? I'm going to preheat the oven to one, was it 170? And keep that in there. Meanwhile, this is going to need a tiny bit more oil for number three. Uh, five more minutes and we're going to do the um, blending on the... Uh, on the watery mixture of vegetables. I don't know what else you want to call it. Uh, Vicky Icky, thank you for the uh, like and zoom. No, it's much better, yes. Okay, make sure I got oil in the middle. That's where I tend to have the problem. Okay, it's at right heat. Okay, and see, like I said, I only I only did half, so I have fewer options for if I make mistakes. But there's uh, less that I have to make and less that gets thrown out. So. Don't want to get too big. What is the name of that Indian dish, hon? Yeah. What was the name of that Indian dish? The one with the, the giant thing? Uh, masala? Dharam masala? 
Yeah, when I cooked for India, the dar was it dar masala? Does that the? Uh, but it was supposed to be like this, but with rice flour. But I fermented it myself, etc., 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 and uh, that did not go well. Masala uh, dosa. Masala dosa. Um, uh, I mean, I eventually had one that worked out like well enough that I could actually, you know, take a picture of it. Uh, but uh, then when I actually went to a restaurant and ordered it. It, I don't know if you've ever seen them, but it's it's got all the vegetables and potatoes and stuff all inside, and it's wrapped like a burrito. But it literally, in the restaurant, it's it's that that big, is that wide. The plate is this big, and it sticks out like over to here. It's very thin. It's like paper thin, like a crepe. And uh, and I had no idea, and I asked a, a, an Indian friend. And he laughed and he said, oh, they only do that in restaurants because they have the big griddle. At home, everyone makes it like, you know, normal size. And I said, okay, I feel better now. Not that I destroyed a good half dozen of them first, but okay. We can turn you off now. Oh, that's pretty. I'll show you. I'll show you. Ta-da! Gorasa. Okay, Gorasa ready to go. Go, Rasa, go! Go, Rasa, go, Rasa, go! Okay, that's gonna go in the, you know, not so hot oven. To stay warm. How's this? I worry about that meat. Uh, boy. Oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't know what to do about that. I do not know what to do about that. Okay, you're gonna cool off somewhere. You gotta go somewhere, but you can't stay here. No, because then I'm gonna grab it with my hands and I'm gonna burn my hands. So not there. I guess it's gonna stay right where it was. Uh, okay, let's see what's doing over here. This is gonna be so weird. I'm telling you right now, people, this is gonna be so weird. Don't burn your face. Don't burn my face. Okay. Uh, which one are we using? Holy moly, how is that gonna get into a blender? Wow. <laughs> wow. See, again, it's assuming that you have act the actual leaves and not the minced leaves. I did not know these were minced before I opened the package. However, there are still onions in there. This is really weird. This is very, very strange. Well, it's like this. Okay, so uh, this is gonna go off and this is gonna get thrown away. And then that, will that fit in here? It better fit in here. Okay. Please don't die. There's one lonely little piece of meat left over, too. Well, you're gonna get blended, my friend. Okay. Hey there. Hey. Oh, Yolanda! I missed you! Yes! Do you see the tree? Oh, yes, there's the tree. Okay, so this hot stuff right here is gonna go in the blender. I do not know why it's going to go in the blender, because it assumes that it's whole leaves and not minced leaves. Let's go in the blender. How you been, Yolanda? I've missed you. Okay. Some juice 
go in here. Can you saw the screen after all the explosion over there? Okay, blender, hot stuff, uh, implements. Okay, here goes. How you been? How's life in the ATL? Uh, nah, okay. Uh, wow, how am I gonna... Here, I need to take a picture of this sucker. I can prove that this happened. Okay. Good, had a couple weeks of events, missed you too. Yes, it's, this is a crazy time of year. It is. You know what? I'm going to move this down here. Does that make sense? Let's let less spillage that way. Again, it feels really weird because it's saying that it's to be done in batches. Uh, because it assumes that you have the big old leaves. But the thing is, there's onions in there. And I don't understand the whole pureeing thing. I don't, but that's, it's, it's your country's thing. It's not mine. I mean, I would imagine I'd want it to thicken or something, but. Oh, that's uh, the preheating on the, on the stove is keeping the uh, garasa warm. This is bonkers. I mean, thankfully, it's just water. It isn't like, well, the meat, but that's a different situation. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I guess we're gonna do it in batches. Thanks for the restream. On, pulse, puree. <laughs> Silence did not activate the uh, the YouTube copyright gods on that one. Ah. I bet it did. I bet it did. I'm going to notice say, no, 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 the voice of Sudan is going to be suing you if you don't take that out of there. Okay. <coughs> so, one more time. Without the splatter this time, please. Are you in there? For real? Okay, now. Do it again. Don't splash. Why does that happen? Splash? Toriso, thank you for liking the restream. Um, pulse, maybe if I pulse. On pulse. Ah, that's why it's it. So the, the, they, they, said, they specifically said pulse, now I know why. thing this is. Weirder than me. And that's pretty weird. Use every paper towel in the house. Okay. I'm gonna pour this right back into the bowl so I don't have to go through an intermediary. 
Oh my god, you even got on that. This is gonna be like the biggest epic cleanup afterwards. Okay. Yes, your father is trying to connect. Ah, I see him on there. So he can't connect? I mean, if it's saying he can't, well, he's obviously in there already. So he's here. If he's not, that's a different situation. Because if it's saying trying to connect and it doesn't connect, you can like force quit the app. So like hit the home button twice and then flick up and then go to the app again. That's what happens sometimes. And I made another mess. Yay. Bloody hell. This like a this is like a crime scene. Oh no. It's like Kermit got massacred in here. Oh my god. Muppet guts everywhere. Okay. Oh, okay, let's try try this for phase two. Not that we're gonna need it, but hey. Give it the old college try. Please don't be another disaster. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Don't don't be bad. Okay. On. Pulse. Puree. <laughs> Smudge on camera. Oh, on the well. Oh, on the lens too. Ah, see, I thought it was just on this side. On the on the screen. Fabulous. Go like this. You got a little something right here. I hope that helped. Meanwhile, I'm gonna spend an hour cleaning up. Steamy. Smells like cream spinach. Which isn't necessarily a good thing. Okay, that goes back in there. Oh, what a mess. Oh, brother. Okay. Whew. Now, uh, heat this sucker back up. Uh, and better, good. Uh, heat that back up, and then we're gonna take a picture of that to prove that this happened. And uh, now we're gonna add the crushed garlic over here. And the black pepper. <clears throat> and ha <laughs> taste. You know what? I think I can serve the meat on top. It doesn't, you know. I hope this works. I really hope this works. It's liquid. It's just so strange. When you see the pictures of it, you just see them pouring. You just see them pouring it out of a pot onto a thing. Uh, Tachada, hello. Thank you for liking the restream. How are you doing? Ta oh, Tachi, how you doing? 
Uh, good seeing you on this weird, weird cooking night. Cooking the food of Sudan. So trying to heat this up oh, and the taste it. I'm procrastinating on the tasting. I'm kind of afraid. I'm afeard. I'm very, very afeard. But we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out how it goes. I hope that that meat sitting in that beef broth is like slightly happier. I don't know. It's been sitting back here. There's not much of it. Needs to be warmed up as well. Mm. That's kind of awful. It's kind of awful. Do you ever have a backup in case? Not really. Let's hope this is better. Oh, you know, we have leftovers. Because Saturday was really good. Uh huh. It has zero salt. This kind of desperately needs salt. I mean, like, desperately needs salt. I mean, you can't have greens without salt. That's one thing I've learned. That's why collard greens and all that are always like really a spinach is always really salty because you need the, the sodium to bring out the flavor. So let's see if that tastes any better now. Uh, wash. Okay, here we go. Take two. Lights, camera, action. Hubby looks over in curiosity. Yeah, well, he's scared. Ah. He's scared. Well, at least the leftovers are good. <laughs> well, now I'm tasting, you know? I didn't used to do that. Thanks to you people. Better. It's like a spinach soup. It is what it is. It's like a... But it's the idea of like putting a liquid over a solid like that is just the goofiest thing I've I've, I've seen. Uh, I don't. I'm afraid to like heat up that meat again, but it needs to be heated because cold it's not good. So the uh, here. Nice. Colander. Ah, ha, ha. it's uh, okay. At the bottom is got gorasa, which is a Sudanese flatbread that worked out okay, sitting in the oven. Two, the um, kabadi bilajor, the cucumber yogurt salad, done and ready and sitting in the uh, fridge. And the kudra mafruka, which is this business. Uh, is like a liquid greens. It's like jute greens. Uh, they call them okra leaves, even though they're not really okra. It's like, like spinach. We went through a lot of trouble to find, the husband went through a lot of trouble to, to, to go get them. Um, and uh, that's what's in here. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, we have leftovers too. And the and the cucumber salad should be okay. In fact, it's like bacon bits is what that is. Um, we got. I'm gonna get the the salad prepped. Uh, it needs to go on to. Holy moly. Uh. On two lettuce leaves. So if you don't like this, 
you know, we have the leftovers. Okay, you got lettuce. Is that cold or hot? That's hot, right? Yeah, switch to the cold. Uh, there. So this is gonna be our, our, whoa, it's wet. Okay, piece of lettuce on the bottom. June just said yes. Okay. this in a bag. Loper, thank you for liking the restream uh, as we crash and burn in Sudan. Trying to do our best to mitigate the crashing and burning. But the cucumber yogurt salad's okay. It's always live, right? This is live. L-I-V-E live. Happening in real time. Unless you're looking at a YouTube in the future, in which case you'd be saying, how did I write that? So, our cucumber yogurt salad whoa, has been sitting in the fridge. Turn it down. Uh, so let's give that sucker a taste. At least this seemed to taste, taste okay. So, let's take a gander. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, yes you are. Mm, that's tasty. That at least is tasty. I think I've run out of scoops. Scoops? Oh, it's over there. Okay. So cucumber yogurt salad. It really should be on a separate plate. It really should be on it needs to be on a separate plate. It's gonna be on a separate plate. Hey Junior. You're witnessing the Sudanese disaster. Uh, this uh, this part at least is okay. Uh, but I'm plating the um, the salad separately from the uh, what we're gonna call the main course. So here's our cucumber yogurt salad. It's hard to see. Here, get you some shade. Uh, which is pretty basic, pretty simple, tastes good. And now we're gonna get out the garasa from the stove, which is the flatbread. Mm. Under this heavy plate. Okay. We got two of them. These came out okay. So that's a plus. Don't burn your hands. We got two that came out okay. Two that came out not so good. No, one that came out not so good. So you... Nice and warm, which is good. Now comes the weird part. The crepe is going to mush when you pour that sauce. Yeah, it is. I don't know what to what to tell you. 
because I think that's just kind of the way it is. Um, again, I've run out of serving scoops. Must one must be in the dishwasher. No. Where the hell did it go? Okay, that's weird. <clears throat> Why am I not seeing? Okay, that's so weird. Well, we had you, we're gonna have you again. Here goes. Uh, you can watch this disaster in real time. Oh, the humanity. Okay. It's weird that it's this liquid. It just seems like the strangest concept. And I'm gonna put the bits of meat on top. Oh, the humanity. What's the Sudanese version of taps? Du, 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 du. Weirdest thing, I swear to you. Uh, put this down. Oh boy, this is like this is epic fail. But honest to God, I mean, look at the pictures. They're pour that's they're just pouring a big old pot of liquid on things, so. Okay, there you have it. Yep, 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 yep. Hardy horror horror. Uh okay. Uh here we go. Uh so for the record. All you fine shooting people out there, I apologize for destroying your country food. I'm sure it's much better than this. Uh, Saturday's was really great. And this tasted okay. It, mm, sort of. Okay, so we have two. Uh, I need to take a picture again to document. To document. Hubby, reheat the leftovers, have them ready. Yeah. Thankfully, you got plenty. And the salad. Okay. Screenshots. <laughs> I was laughing at you humming your song. Yes, well, and but you should. Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. So we have our uh, Kudra Mafruka, which is the sort of pureed greens um, uh, with the beef the dead beef on top on top of the gorasa, the flatbread at the bottom. And then we have our, our cucumber yogurt salad. Technical name is the Zabladi Bilajur, I believe. So that's our cucumber yogurt salad over there. And that is the end of his Instagram ready for this. I don't think anyone's ready for this. Um, but no, it, we'll see. It was acceptable. Um, ish. So, that's uh, the wonder of Sudan. Uh, again, Saturday night was really, really good. Check that out. In fact, you can check out everything at clippyland.com. Say pictures, links to the original recipes, uh, these videos. You can go back and see what you missed. And again, Saturday was really good. Um, and uh, information about the country, things, how things went. And um, you can catch up on the countries you missed. Next week is the last country of the 2015. We're going to be cooking, cooking Suriname. So back to the Western Hemisphere for the first time since Peru. It's been a long time. 
No, 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 sorry, since the Saints, since Saint, Saint Kitts and Nevis and them. So, long time since we've been on that side of the world. So, check for that next week. That will be the last one we'll do for 2015. Also, find us on Facebook, on Instagram, on Pinterest, on Tumblr, and uh, now on YouTube. Go to our channel. Find Clippy Land on YouTube and subscribe. That would be super cool and really neat, and we'll be best friends forever. So, thank you so much. We gotta see how this goes. Make sure to get those uh, leftovers ready if we need them. And uh, thanks. Catch you later. Bye.